New information has just leaked regarding three new Xbox exclusives coming in the near future, with one of them being a return of a fan favorite. There's a lot here to talk about, so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It is Randall Thor 19, the man with the million, back again with another video. I hope everybody is having a great day. If you guys can do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and please share this out on social media. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for the continued support. It always surprises me when I think back to last generation, the Xbox One generation, and how many games Microsoft had in production, or rather, how many games they didn't really have in production. Microsoft only had five studios. They were working with third parties via Xbox Global Publishing, but we didn't get a lot of games from Xbox after 2016. And that's where the meme Xbox has no games has come from, which is something that Phil Spencer and the team at Xbox have been well aware of and it's a meme that they want to absolutely kill so what did they do they invest heavily into xbox they buy more studios they have 23 including all the bethesda studios and then of course you have xbox global publishing who works with independent third parties to make more games and now it's basically the flip of the xbox one generation where we didn't have a lot of games to now we have so many games Things are leaking almost every single week, which is quite funny because if you watched my video yesterday, I said that both Jez Corden and Jeff Grubb were seemingly leaking a game every other week. And today, both of them, Jez and Jeff, leaked new Xbox games that are currently in development and might see a release in the next couple years. The amount of games that Xbox is working on is absolutely staggering. But let's dive into all this juicy info, shall we? So over at Windows Central, my buddy Jez Corden wrote this article. I have the link in the description so you can go check out his content and support him. But he pretty much starts off the article by reiterating exactly what I just mentioned. He says, much like Netflix, ensuring Xbox Game Pass has a steady flow of new subscribers is at the top of Microsoft's gaming agenda. A steady flow of new subscribers means the firm needs a steady flow of new content and they're investing more in that area than ever before. We know about upcoming Xbox game titles like Halo Infinite, Starfield, State of Decay 3, and Redfall, but we've been offering a sneak peek at some as of yet unannounced exclusives too. Microsoft's publishing arm is working hard on partner titles like Project Dragon from IO Interactive and Project Belfry from Stoic Studios, among various others. Internally, we have Project Cobalt from NXL, and we recently detailed avowed gameplay from Obsidian I've been lucky enough to see early. Recently, we were tipped on some new exclusive details for upcoming Xbox games as well. The funny thing about this opening paragraph is that Jez doesn't even mention a lot of the other games that are coming to Xbox, like Perfect Dark and Fable, or Indiana Jones coming from Machine Games. There's so much to be excited about for Xbox, but Jez continues on detailing Compulsion's new game. He goes on to say, recently we received some details on Compulsion's first outing as part of Xbox Game Studios, Currently codenamed Midnight, this upcoming title is supposedly a third-person action game set in a dark and fantastical world. Some of the game's early concept artwork can be seen above. They represent the game's protagonist alongside warped harpy-like humanoids that appear to descend through various iterations of mutation. On the left, we can see what appears to be harpy nest style dwellings built atop a tree. And if you want to see the concept art that just shared, make sure you head over to Windows Central. Project Midnight is described as a coming of age tale drawing upon inspirations from America's deep south. The game features magic and a large fantastical beast with a strong southern gothic vibe. The game is a wholly single player experience with what has been described to me as a strong story. Now for those Xbox fans that have been clamoring for those third person single player experiences that Sony tends to make on their platform that are incredibly popular. I know there's been a movement in the Xbox fandom for more games like this from Xbox Game Studios and undoubtedly they are coming because as we talked about with Xbox Game Pass, you want to appeal to as many people as possible to get them to subscribe and many people do enjoy those cinematic third person narrative driven games. So of course, Xbox is going to make those to have those people subscribe. And it definitely sounds like Project Midnight from Compulsion 
is going to be that type of game. Now, as for when it will be revealed or released, Jez doesn't have that information. I would guess that Compulsion's game would be revealed at next year's E3 and launched sometime in 2023. Now, this next game that is supposedly coming back is an absolute fan favorite. And when I saw the headline today, I was pretty damn excited. And it's a title that Phil Spencer has kind of teased in the past couple years. And that is a new one versus 100 game. That's right. So a new one versus 100 game is definitely in development at Microsoft. It's been claimed. That's according to journalist Jeff Grubb, who claimed on his Giant Bomb show that the game is currently in active development at Altspace VR, which is part of Microsoft's mixed reality division. And Grubb had to say, quote, one versus 100 is coming back. They are definitely making that game. And it seems like it's coming from the Altspace VR team. They're spearheading the project and all of the avatars we saw in the Microsoft Teams thing last week, they're going to use those avatars and bring that stuff in. Much like a sequel to Killer Instinct or brand new Banjo-Kazooie, fans have been asking for Microsoft to basically bring back 1 vs 100 as it was a very unique game that used Xbox Live to, I think maybe, its fullest potential. There wasn't a game like it on console during the 360 gen and there hasn't been since. A big communal game show where everybody joins and answers some questions, maybe some people earn prizes, and the fact that it's taken this long to bring 1 vs 100 back has always been a mystery to me. But with the dawn of Xbox Game Pass, I think now is the perfect time to bring this game back. I mean, just think about how this type of game could benefit from Xbox's new ecosystem. Sure, you're going to be able to play it on Xbox consoles, you can play it on PC, but Microsoft has expanded to mobile phones and tablets. So when this game was available on the 360, you had to log into the console, that was the only way to play. But nowadays, if somebody's using your TV or your PC, you could play 1 vs 100 via your phone and probably get the full experience. That's pretty damn cool. Now, last but not least, we have one more game that we have to talk about, and it's a new title coming from Obsidian. So recently revealed by Jeff Grubb on his premium Grub Snack show, Obsidian's indie style effort is emerging from a small team led by Joss Sawyer, famed for his leadership on what is arguably the best Fallout game, New Vegas, as well as Pillars of Eternity. Grubb mentioned that Pentiment takes cues from the likes of Disco Elysium and the branching narrative designs Joss Sawyer is known for. You'll be able to investigate and make accusations against the characters in game, which could lead to cascading consequences if you're wrong. It'll be a dialogue heavy game with decisions to make and response options to choose from, which will shape your experience as you unwrap the murder conspiracy before you. I am told that Pentiment is being built by a small team of around 12 people and is more of a narrative RPG adventure than something combat orientated. The art asset above may represent some of the designs the game is gunning for. Jeff Grubb also mentioned that Pentiment is exploring experimental gameplay elements too, although they may ultimately not make it into the final release. Speaking of which, Grubb also noted that Pentiment is indeed gunning for a 2022 launch. The underpinning reality among all these game projects is that Microsoft is investing more than ever into its first party games portfolio. From smaller games like Pentiment to larger titles with hundreds of developers like Halo Infinite, Microsoft is all in on ensuring that it can see off competition from some of the bigger players in the space. Some of the bigger trillion dollar tech outfits like Apple, Google, and Amazon are all sitting up and realizing that there's something serious about this whole core gaming thing as companies like Netflix begin to explore adding gaming features to their subscription services. Microsoft is showing no signs of slowing down either. Xbox chief Phil Spencer this week noted that he's exploring expanding Microsoft's casual gaming portfolio through acquisitions. And I also received word of yet another upcoming Xbox publishing partnership codename Vonnegut, presumably after the novelist Kurt Vonnegut, although beyond the game's codename, I have no information on exactly what that is or who could be making it. Vonnegut falls alongside another first party title codename Velvet, although once again, very little is known about who or what it could be. And there has been a rumor going around that Project Vonnegut is perhaps a brand new Shadowrun RPG, which would be really damn cool. But either way, right now, Xbox is making more games than they ever have before. 
A brand new one versus 100 is really exciting, and I can't wait to see how that actually plays out within the Xbox ecosystem. A new third person cinematic action game from Compulsion, who is a studio that I didn't really understand what Microsoft saw in them. They made We Happy Few, but it wasn't a game that set the world on fire, but maybe Microsoft saw potential there, and this game that they're making, Project Midnight, will be the realization of it. And of course you have Obsidian making Avowed and Outer Worlds 2 as well as Grounded. And Josh Sawyer's new game Pentiment, which has some inspirations from Disco Elysium as a murder mystery RPG, does sound pretty interesting. It does seem that Microsoft has you covered no matter what your genre is. If you want the big AAA games like Halos and the Forzas, the Starfields and the Indiana Jones, the Perfect Darks, the Fables, they have you covered. If you want the smaller indie titles like Pentiment or perhaps Pajic Belfry, they got you there as well. And then fun social casual games that will make an impact. Well, one versus 100 could fit that description as well. And who knows, with the way things are shaking out, we might find out exactly what Project Vonnegut and Project Velvet are sometime in the near future. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to let me know what you think about everything in the comments below. Are you excited for the return of 1 vs. 100? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media. Hit that notification bell. If you want to take your support even further, you can always hit that join button. Thank you guys so much for taking the time of your day to watch the video. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.